Okay, today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Gulfstream BT Cruiser 5270 with just over 5,000 miles on it. One owner coach, and let's get started. You can look and see the power awning extended. That is probably one of the largest awnings um, that it can be put on a motorhome. You got fiberglass running boards, um, big breakaway mirrors. The nice part about the mirrors are they are power and they are heated. Down here you have one storage compartment. As I shut the entry door, Exterior speakers so you can listen to uh, your radio or iTunes right outside or Pandora, whichever you choose. It is solar ready. Um, the sidewalls are made out of Asdell, they're impervious to water. Um, so, what that means to you as a customer, um, delamination is going to be reduced to very minimal if any leaks ever get in there, um, and it will never mold or mill them. Got a porch light. And the awning lights, which are very popular at night. Six gallon electric ignition water heater. Direct spark ignition, I'm sorry. Uh, your furnace output, your refrigerator output, your rear tires, your exhaust, a uh, little storage compartment. The big storage compartment across the back. And that noise that you're hearing is your gas Onion 4.0 generator running. In this compartment, you can see we give you an adapter to plug right into your house and an outside shower uh, port for hot and cold water. Every cap, every cap compartment door is held up by a good shot of it magnets. Now we look towards the back of the coach. You got a ladder to get up on your roof. You have a backup camera and of course your spare tire. Here is a view of the driver's side of the BT Cruiser. With the slide out extended, it does have a slide topper. So if you get any if you're buying a, uh, a lot of trees that are dropping branches or leaves, it's gonna protect uh, the top of your slide out so you don't have to climb up ladder and uh, sweep them off. Let's go through the driver's side compartments. First compartment behind your driver door, you have your solar prep port, and in here is your house battery. House battery will charge when the when the um, coach is running going down the road, or when the generator is on, or when you're plugged in to a shore cord into a landline for electric. Next compartment back. Another pretty good sized storage compartment. Next compartment back after that, not so fun part of the job, the black and the gray tanks. So basically you would hook your sewer hose up to the uh, where the cap is, you pull the, the big one first, which is your black tank, then you pull your gray one, the smaller valve second, that's your gray water, shower and sink water, so it'll clean it out. You have your cable. Input right there. You have your black tank flush. The key with the black tank flush is it's a sprinkler that cleans out your black tank. Um, you hook a hose in here, and you always want to make sure your black valve is open, always. And then you turn the water on, and it'll clean out your tank uh, within a matter of about five minutes. If you don't open your black valve, you will have black water back in, backing up into the coach. So it's very important to have the gate valve open for that. Uh, city water is if you're at a campground or at a friend's house that has a water supply, that's how you're going to get water into it. Um, there's another port on the other side. It's, actually, it's right down the way here it, for you, to fill your fresh water tank so you can be self-sufficient. What I mean by that is you can fill your fresh water tank up. You can go to Walmart rest stop or a state forest um, that doesn't have any water hookups 
and you can pump water right out of your fresh tank. Right here is your outside shower port, as promised on the other side, as I was telling you, with that little blue um, retractable hose, hot and cold water, so you can spray um, sand or mud off your legs or hands or whatever you'd like to do. Rear tires in the back here. Uh, gasoline tank, 55 gallons unleaded. Um, your short cord plug-in. Propane tank. Generator exhaust, I turned it off so we can hear a little bit. Your fresh water, let me make sure I'm getting it, yep. Your fresh water um, holding tank inlet. Low point drains if you want to get rid of some bad water. Uh, generator exhaust. Onan 4.0 gas generator. It will run right off your gas tank of the coach. Once you drop a little quarter tank of gas, it will shut off. So you want to make sure you always have at least a quarter tank of gas in there. And the other part of the big storage, along with your shore cord. Let's go inside. All right, driver's cockpit area. Power windows and door locks. As I told you about the mirrors, there's your power mirrors. And the red button on top is your heat. So on the frosty mornings, you don't have to worry about scraping your mirrors. You've got a grab handle to grab, uh, to, grab to come into your coach. Obviously, your um, get my finger out of the way. Your headlight display, uh, standard Ford uh, steering wheel. You can see the miles right there. 51, 51. Uh, three quarters of a tank of gas. Your backup camera and radio system is all right there. A couple plugs, air conditioning. And then I'll show you the driver's seat, which is in excellent shape. Now we'll go over to the passenger side. Okay, passenger side, power windows and door locks again. Uh, your glove box, vents, and again, passenger seat is in good shape as well. Cup holders, um, even more of a uh, glove box, both on both sides. And the switch above the driver's seat right there, it says, uh, emergency start what that does is heaven forbid your chassis battery is ever low and you can't you can't uh, turn her over you hold that switch turn the key and it'll jump you from the back battery hopefully it never happens all right as we go to the inside you have your television right up front there it's nice got a nice little backlit um, blue light you have some storage cabinets right there same on that side you can get a pretty full look at your driver's column you have a barrel chair right behind the passenger seat with the seat belt uh, storage compartment you got a uh, exhaust fan right in the living room here. We'll get over to the um, control, main control panels here. So your generator has 27 hours on it. Your monitor panel for your black, your gray, your fresh, and your battery condition. Uh, water heater and water pump switch. Water pump if you want to pump water from your fresh tank into the coach when you're dry camping water heater switch you just hit that button and within about 10 minutes you have hot water you got a ceiling light switch porch light switch awning light switch your awning button push out button your slide out push out button and then just an extra one um, that doesn't do anything down here you have power jacks on this coach battery disconnect entry lights and then the step switch so if you want to keep the step switch I mean the step out you keep the switch on fire extinguisher 
and a heat register. Here is a good look at the sofa. Cup holders on both sides when traveling. Uh, probably going to have two seat belts in there. Day night shades with a couple reader lights above it. And then inside here, you have four speakers for surround sound when you're watching a movie on the TV. Ducted air with a quick cool option. And ducted heat, which I showed you before. Good look at your kitchen area. Solid service countertops. Um, stainless steel sinks, easy to clean. Cabinets above. Then you got your, your stove and oven. Uh, microwave. You have a large double door refrigerator. That is the return for the furnace, the intake. Into the back bedroom. You got good storage on both sides, right there above and down walk around queen bed so you can walk on both sides you have a spot for a tv in the back you can just mount the bracket right there you got your thermostat which will operate your heat and your air light switch And then another look from the back bedroom. All residential flooring throughout. Very little carpet in this coach. Into the restroom. Always the most difficult one in the video. ABS tub surround. Nice skylight in there if you're taller. Power roof vent. Uh, medicine cabinet, sorry. Another cabinet. Toilet with a foot flush and your bathroom sink. GFI outlet. Uh, place that you can hang your towel and then another shelf up top there. There is your sofa. And here's the sofa with the table put in front of it to eat at night. Plenty of room on that table. And it stores right underneath your sofa. Thank you for watching.